ಅಧ್ಯಾಯಂ ಸ್ಥಾತ್ ಪರಮಂಶ ಪರಿಬ್ರಾಜ ವ್ಯಾಸಾಚಾರ ಸದಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಷಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಅನಂತ ಕೋಟಿ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಂದ ಕೀ ಜಯ ನಾಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಶಿಲ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಥಾಪ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ ಸುತ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶುಭಾಷಾದಿ ಗೌರ್ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ ಸಾಂ ಖಂಡ ರಾಧಾ ಕುಂಡ ಗುರುಬುದ್ಧ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಭಿನ್ನಾವಂದ ಕೀ ಜಯ ನವದೀರ್ಥಾಂ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಗಂಗಾಮಾಯಿ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಜಮುನಾಮಾಯಿ ಕೀ ಜಯ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವಿ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಭಕ್ತಿ ದೇವಿ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಸ್ವಾಮೀದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಆಸಮ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಆಸಮ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ liberation from material association mukti and comes to know scientifically of the personality of god then mm. 
एवं प्रसन्न मनुष्य भगवत भक्ति जोगता भगवत तत्व विज्ञान मुक्त संग सजाए भगवत तत्व विज्ञान इट इज नॉट सेंटिमेंट इट इज विज्ञान विज्ञान मीन साइंस तो विकाम डिभोटी डज नॉट मीन ए सेंटिमेंटलिस्ट सेंटिमेंटलिस्ट हैज नो वैल्यू वन हु हैज देर इज सेंटिमेंट दैट इज इमोशनल सेंटिमेंट इन दस्ट लाइक दिस चाइल्ड इज डांसिंग इट इज नॉट सेंटिमेंट ही हैज नो सेंटिमेंट बट इज डांसिंग फ्रॉम द स्पिरिचुअल अवेकनिंग This dancing is not dogs dancing. This is one who is feeling love of God. And he is dancing. Uh, the more one feels love of God, and he can dance, he can chant, he can cry. There are so many eight kinds of ostracistic bhikkhus: transformation of the body, tears in the eyes. सो भगवत तत्व विज्ञान ज्ञान में परम गुई हम जद विज्ञान समन्वित कृष्ण से तो ब्रह्मा ज्ञान में परम गुई हम टू नो अबाउ कृष्णा इट इज वेरी वेरी कॉन्फिडेंस है Uh, it's not ordinary thing, vijnana. Mm. Therefore, many scientists they are also joining our movement. Many doctor of philosophy, chemistry, they are understanding this is a science. <coughs> And the more you make propaganda, the I mean, the higher circle of the society, learned scholars, professors, scientists, philosophers, they join. And for them, we have got so many books. We have proposal to publish eighty books. Out of them, we have published about fourteen books. So it is a science. Otherwise, why Shrimad Bhagavatam has devoted eighteen thousand verses for understanding? In the beginning of Shrimad Bhagavatam, it is said, "Dharma prajita koi tava utra." The cheating, sentimentalism, the so-called religious system. Is projita. Is projita. Is mm, kicked out. There is no such place here in this world. Projita. Just like you brush something uh, with broomstick or something and throw away the uh, dust. Similarly, the dusty thing, so called sentimental. Religionism is not here in this time of the world. It is a science. Paramam uh, guiyam, very confidence uh, to understand Krishna is not ordinary thing. Krishna says, "Manusya nam sahasya su kasti jatati siddhae jatatama bhisiddhana kasti beeti maam tattat." so this truth is understandable uh, through the through krishna or through krishna's representative and bhagavad gita krishna says maya shaktam na prartho jugam junyan madasraya madasraya 
Malasraya means under my, uh, under me. Actually, it means Malasraya means one who has taken the shelter of Krishna, or one who has surrendered to Krishna without any reservation. He is called Madhasraya, or one who has taken shelter of Krishna perfectly. So this yoga, this bhakti yoga, as it is said earlier, Bhagavad bhakti yoga. Uh, so Bhagavad bhakti yoga can be learned when one takes fully shelter at the lotus feet of a Bhagavad bhakta. That is called Bhagavad. You cannot become Bhagavad bhakta independent without caring for your spiritual master. That is just nonsense. That is just killed. You will never be able. We are singing daily, Jasap prasadada Bhagavad prasad. But you do not know the meaning, unfortunately. Jasap prasadada. If the spiritual master is pleased, then Bhagavan is pleased. Not that independently. Just uh, prasada in the ten kinds of offenses. The first offense is Guru Ravagya, uh, disobeying the orders of Guru. And especially Guru's business is to preach Krishna consciousness, and if a person blasphemes, a person who is preaching all over the world, Krishna consciousness, that is the greatest offense. But we are reading ten kinds of offenses, Gurbhastha, and the gurus. Do you know the meaning? You, uh, what is that? Sri Guru Charana Padma. What is that? Song? Read it. Sāvadhāna uh, mate, uh, with Gītya. You sing this song, do you know the meanings? No. Who can explain the meaning? Yes, you explain. Śrī Guru Charana Padma means the lotus feet of the Guru. Gave all the bhaktis. He is a reservoir of all devotion or bhakti. Vandu Amuhi Sāvadhāna means that we worship him with great awe. Uh, hmm. read, read the other lines. Jahana Prasadi Bhai. And Jahana Prasadi Bhai, then? E Bhavatariya Jai. E Bhavatariya Jai. He, if one is, uh, I mean to say, favored by Guru, then the path to cross over the new science is clear. Jahana prasade bhai eva bhaktariya. Then next line. Uh, Krishna prapti hoi jahai. Uh, and uh, Krishna prapti hai jahai. By the favor of Guru, one gets Krishna. This is the jasya prasada and bhagavad everywhere. This is bhagavad bhakti yoga. Uh, so one who has not attained this stage, what is this bhagavad bhakti? It is just killed. That is not Bhagavad. Even Prasanna Manasu, Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga. Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga. It is a kind of yoga. Uh, or the real yoga. Uh, topmost yoga system is Bhagavad Bhakti. <coughs> and Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga begins Adu Gurdva Asrayam. First of all, surrender to Guru. The official initiation has no meaning unless one who has fully surrendered to Guru. There is no question of initiation. Dibhagyana ride prakāsit. Dibhagyana is transcendental knowledge. So to play tricks with Guru, to become diplomat, 
and intrigue us. These rascal dumb will not help Bhagavad Bhakti. You can get some other things, some material profit, but spiritual life will be spoiled. So this Krishna consciousness movement is for spiritual enlightenment, not for how to get money, how to earn money. This is the uh, Krishna consciousness. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaches, na dhanagna janagna sundarin kavitang vajagadisa kāma. Uh, na dhana. The materialists, they what they want. They want money. They want many followers and many subordinates. Our nice, beautiful wife. This is materialism. But Chaitanya Mahav refuses. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't want money. This is teaching. Nadhanang, Nadhanang. I don't want to rule over somebody. No. Not Nathanang na Janang na Sandarin Kavita, a poetic imagination of nice, beautiful wife. These things I do not want. No. What is then Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga? Mama Janmani Janmani Sari Bhavata Bhakti Rahit Kirtai. Then Bhagavad Bhakti do not want even liberation. Why Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying Janmani Janmani? But after one who is liberated, he does not take any more birth in this material world. Uh, those who are impersonalists, they merge into the effulgence, bodily rays of Krishna, and those who are devotees, they get permission to enter into Vaikuntha or Golokumindha. Uh, <coughs> so, if you want prasannamana, all is jubilation, uh, that is spiritual life, uh, not that all is morose, making some plans, that is not spiritual life. Uh, you don't find any materialistic person jubilant. He is morose and thinking and smoking cigarette and drinking, making some big, big plan. That is materialism. Uh, and Bhagavad Bhakti, Jogato, Prasanna Manasu. Uh, and the Bhagavad Gita, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma, Nasochati Nakankati, Prasannatma. This is spiritual life. As soon as you become actually in spiritual life, never mind either you in impersonal philosophy or personal philosophy, both of them are spiritualists, only the difference is the impersonalists think that I am spirit, God is spirit, therefore we want to imagine to this. Sajudya Mukti. Krishna gives them Sajudya Mukti, but that is not very safe uh, because uh, Anandamaya Vyasa, Ananda, real Ananda cannot be realized uh, oneself. There must be two. Love does not mean I love myself and meditate upon love. No. There must, must be that another person lover. Therefore, Daita uh, As soon as we come to the Bhakti school, there must be Daita Two. <coughs> Krishna and Krishna's devotee. And the exchange of Krishna and Krishna's servant is called bhakti. The dealings, that is called bhakti. Therefore it is said bhagavad bhakti yogata, uh, not monism, uh, oneness. There is always the bhakta, Devotees trying to please Krishna, they are just like gopis, the topmost devotees. Their only business is to please Krishna. That's all. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommended 
ब्रह्मा का चिद उपासना मृजबधु वर्ग भी जा कुल बिता दे कैनॉट बी बेटर मेथड ऑफ वर्सिंग देन द प्रोसेस विद द गोपीज अडॉप्टेड दे डिड नॉट केयर फॉर एनीथिंग द गोपीज सम ऑफ देम वेयर engaged in household affairs somebody was talking with husband sometimes taking care of the children some some of them were uh, boiling meal as soon as there was krishna's floor everything left and where you are going husband brother father where you are going or no don't care <laughs> krishna's floor is there we do not know anything this is डिबोस इज हाइस्ट टॉप मोस्ट चैतन्य महाप्रभु चैतन्य महाप्रभु वॉज सो स्ट्रिक्ट दैट ओमेन कुड नॉट कम वेरी नियर टू ऑफ हर इंग ऑफिस फ्रॉम लिटिल डिस्टेंस चैतन्य महाप्रभु एज ए सन्यासी वॉज सो स्ट्रिक्ट कोर्स दैट शुड बी द प्रिंसिपल But hmm, especially in your country, that cannot be very strictly observed. But at least uh, one should be very careful. Hmm. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so strict. He is eulogizing the Gopis' love of Krishna. So that Gopis' love is not ordinary thing. This. It is transcendent. Uh, otherwise, how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appreciates? How uh, Shukadev Goswami appreciates uh, Krishna Lila? This Krishna Lila is not ordinary thing. It is spiritual. So unless one is uh, situated uh, firmly in bhakti yoga, they should not uh, try to understand. What is the uh, past times of the gopis with Krishna? Mm, that will be dangerous. Narottam Das Thakur he says, "Rupa Raghu Natho Pade Hoyi Ve Akuti Pabe Hama Bhujava Si Jugalo Piriti." Jugalo Piriti, the uh, loving dealings uh, between Radha and Krishna. Jugal Jugal means. Uh, couple piriti means love so narottam das was exalted acharya he said when i shall be able to understand not that i have understood everything now i have understood everything this is not it is vigyana bhagavat tattva vigyana so we should be very careful to understand the science as the science can be understood through the mercy of the spiritual mind <coughs> therefore vishnu chakravarti thakur says just sab prasad first of all try to please your spiritual mind then try to understand ah uh, so it is a great science tat vidhi panipatena pariprasnena sevaya उपदक्षति तज्ञान ज्ञानी नत्दर्शी दिस इज प्रोसेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सरेंडर यू आई सरेंडर यू ऑल लाइक नाउ आई डोंट लाइक इट वट इज सरेंडर नाउ आई डोंट लाइक दैट मीन देर वॉज नो सरेंडर सरेंडर डज नॉट मी Now I surrender, and if you do not please me, if you do not satisfy my senses, then I don't like. That is not surrender. Uh, surrender. The example is given uh, by Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Dog. Very good example. The dog surrenders to the master fully. Even the master kills him. He does not protest. This is example. Bhishma or Thakur, Tomar or Kukur, Boliya, Jana or Mori. Bhishma Thakur, my dear, 
my revered spiritual master, you are the best of the Vaishnavas, please accept me as your dog. That is surrender. Hmm. So, eh, then, hmm. real surrender begins. Maya Saptamana Pratha Jugam Jungyan Mada Asvai. Asvai, Asvai Loya Bhaji. Krishna Tare Nahi Taji. One who executes devotional service, taking shelter of bona fide spiritual master, Krishna will never give him up. He will accept. Asvai Loya Bhaji Krishna Tare Nahi Taji. Arsha Mare Akaram. Others, they will simply waste their time. That's all. So this is Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga. Adho Gudvāsraṁ Saddharma Pichā. Sādhu Mārgāna Gamanam. Everything is there in the devotional service, in the nectar of devotion, teaching Sāvara Chaitanya, Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, we are publishing. If we do not understand, if we think that these books are for sale, and we are all learned, we have learned everything, finished, our business is finished. That will not improve uh, the condition. Prasanna Manasho Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga, Bhagavad Tattva Vijnanam. It is a science. As you learn science, just like our Sarup Damodha, doctor, so he is now doctor. We have got another doctor in uh, Nivindana. He is also scientist. So, if you want to take the doctorate title, that is also the surrender. There are committees, three, four main committees. When they certify, yes, this is all right. This thesis is presented by such and such, it is approved. Then you get. Uh, so, everywhere there is. Tad vigyana tham sagaru meva avigachet. So if we are not serious about understanding the science of Krishna, if we take some opportunity uh, to become this, to become that, and to make some money and this and that, then the whole thing is finished. For opportunities there is no Krishna consciousness. For the real surrender soul, madhāsva. So bhagavatattva-vijñānaṁ uh, everyone, we are at least, we have um, enlisted ourselves to become uh, um, graduate in Bhagavad Tattva Vijnana. This is the process. Uh, uh, Madhasraya, Krishna says. Madhasraya means Yogam uh, Janjan Madhasraya. To become under Krishna, or that is not possible uh, because. Uh, without taking shelter of Krishna's uh, servant, gopi bhattu padakamalo daso daso daso, we have to become servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of Krishna. Not aspiring, I shall become directly servant of Krishna. That is Mahabhat. Our process is the servant of the Sachaitana Mahabhu teaches the servant of the this more one has become servant of the hundredth generation down. He is perfect. So uh, try to understand Bhagavad Tattva Vijnanam uh, Mukta Sangasya Jayati. Bhagavad Tattva Vijnan, this science who can understand? Mukta Sangha. Mukta means liberate. And Sangha means association. So association means we are always we are contaminated by the material nature. Uh, sometimes we are good, sometimes we are passionate, sometimes we are asking. There are three gunas. Some of them are very good. And some of them are passionate and some of them are askings. So we have to transcend even the platform of so-called goodness. That is called mukta-saṅga. 
because in the material life we are always associating with these gunas, three qualities. Gunamai, maya, daividhisa, gunamai, gunamai. Guna these, three gunas. So it is very difficult. Sometimes we are in the platform of goodness, then we fall down in the passion, then we fall down in ignorance, or some ignorance I rise again in goodness and again fall down. This is going on. But therefore you have to become mukta saṅgasa, above all these qualities. I am over. I am very good man, I am good manager, I am this. You have to surpass that also. Uh, that is called mukta sangha. Uh, but that mukta sangha so is possible when we are sincerely engaged in devotional service, just like the deity worship. The deity worship means gradually to become mukta sangha. The deity worship is essential. Uh, there is process. You must rise early in the morning. You must take bath. You should offer mangal Then after that, after that. Dressing, flowering, in this way, if you always remain, then gradually you will become mukta-saṅga. Uh, the, the turn.